Hi guys, uh, this is my second video on uh, topping up the coolant for the Royal Alloy, liquid cool models. Um, and I had a bit of a revelation yesterday, um, mainly due to Mark Hayes, who pointed out how to find the neck of the coolant expansion tank to allow us to top up the coolant system. So let's do that and we'll go in the garage and get on with it. Now this is a coolant expansion tank. Um, it's got a few marks on it. Here you can see uh, a little arrow which have coloured in felt tip and a minimum line here. And there's a little line behind there. What you can't see towards the top is the maximum line because it's hidden by this pipe. Now uh, Royal Alloy state that you should fill this to the maximum. It is an expansion tank so I would guess anywhere between the minimum and maximum would be okay for normal running. Um, but topping it up um, has caused a few issues and I'm going to show how I do it. First things first, let's take off the side panel. And um, we'll need to do that to get in to do the top up. Now the first thing you'll have to do is locate the neck of the filler for the bottle the expansion bottle and that's where the problem initially lay because it's very well hidden behind this frame strut here best way to find that is to come to the bottom of these brake cables and you'll see the the top there i've got this quite illuminated because it is dark and difficult to see now this has got a rubber bung in it which i'm going to pull out and it's uh that in itself isn't the easiest task, so bear with me. Here we go. Uh, so I have the bung out. Get it out to show you in itself is, a, is not the easiest thing. But there's the bung. Now, that goes into the neck here. And uh, now we're going to look at filling that up. Now, this is the funnel that came comes with most of the uh, uh, liquid cooled bikes. I know I think some came without, but that's what you should be having. Otherwise, you're going to have to make up a funnel with a tube on yourself. This has caused me quite a lot of uh, puzzlement since I got it because it does also allow you to fill the um, the engine oil without taking the panel off. So I was thrown between. Is it for water, or, or should I say coolant, or is it for all? But it's for coolant, and th the way that you get to this is by putting this, let me see if it goes better that way, it probably does, into there, and then filling here. Uh, this is the coolant I'm using. I got this on Amazon. It's a green coolant. They come in different colours. Do not mix the colours. Um, <clears throat> and that simply goes in and tops up down here. So you'll do that, and I've already put some in, in here, until uh, your expansion bottle reaches the maximum. So that's uh, my expansion bottle, and it's full to the maximum line now. Well, I'm not sure how well you can see that. I'm using a torch to illuminate the tab on the rubber bung that I've replaced. And I've put that in a position where it's easy to get to. Um, so, let me see. Um, all in all, fairly straightforward. Once you know um, where the actual filling point is. Like and subscribe for further videos. And uh, I'll see you the next time. Thanks for watching.